with the first segment being Heyman and Brock and the thing with Drew McIntyre, did you notice this was the best first segment out of the three weeks, and this was also the shortest? And and people say, you know, we're asking, well, Heyman's in charge of Raw. I don't know if Heyman's in charge of all of Raw, but Heyman was in charge of this. It's like they asked, okay, how in 15 minutes can you go out and get Drew McIntyre over as much as humanly possible? Okay. Um, it, it, he his promo he tells the story first of all have you ever thought that you would ever see the same human being 30 years ago he looked like Michael Keaton and now he looks like Alfred Hitchcock I'm afraid in 10 more years he's going to look like Tor Johnson <laughs> Um, but from the time he says good evening he he cuts a promo he tells a story he keeps you uh, keeps your attention it's not droning he's not lost I never mind hearing Paul E because he says something. And just the inflection, and he half ass sounds like he means it, unlike almost everybody else on the, on the program. But he built up McIntyre, and then boom, here he comes, and Brock backs off, and then suddenly charges and gets hit with the big kick, and then boom, bails out. And I was almost like, well, that was a little fucking flat, right? But they milked it. Um, well, he was, you know, out cold and then Drew left, right? And then Brock just leaves and I'm like, well, fuck. But when McIntyre came back out and hit him with the kick on the stage and then held up the belt, okay, yeah. And then that tells me that's an old ECW thing. Everything happens in threes anyway, right? But there had to be the third one and gets the people to chant holy shit. So it was kind of flat at first and within two or three minutes after that, he had him chanting, holy shit. And the whole thing came in under 15 minutes. Do you, what more could they have done with Drew McIntyre, but had him rescue a baby from a burning building? I thought it was really good. I thought it was really effective. I think I said it a couple of weeks ago. Brock Lesnar is this great, believable badass, and he also sells better than anyone in the business. Yeah, because like, he sells different. It's believable. It, he sells yeah. like you, you really think he may be hurt. Yeah, because he just throws himself into shit, figuring, I guess, that he won't hurt himself too bad. Uh, but but yeah, that so that opening segment, I think, is the only one that actually made me want to see more of those people that they've done in three weeks. 